Chang Chai and the Legend of the Ten Rings held on to first place in its sophomore weekend at the theaters. The hero flick brought in 35.8 million for a two week total of 145.6 million dollars in North America. Ryan Reynolds video game themed action comedy Free Guy leveled up the from third place into second place and the horror yarn Malignant debuted in third. Scattered pockets of heavy rain around the Alamo City right now from the outer bands of Nicholas, one notably near Leon Springs and along I-10 as you headed to Kendall County. Otherwise, there's some moderate rainfall across areas to our southeast in Lavaca County and in DeWitt County. We'll be watching those areas closely as Tropical Storm Nicholas does approach. Otherwise, scattered downpours today, but it's going to be a fairly quiet week. Only isolated rain for the remainder of the week and temperatures rebound into the mid-90s. Thanks, Sarah. We promised five top movies from the box office. We went to commercial before we got to Candyman and Jungle Cruise. That rounds out the top five. That was the top five. And we promised a great show from SA Live, and it starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, hello. And it is a very good Monday today. Oh, we are getting you ready for fall oh. with some yummy, yummy treats. Good afternoon, I'm Fiona Gorostiza. Can I sample you? Not yet, oh, don't ruin sorry. the display. Not I'm before we start. <laughs> hey, we are back to school, of course, and you know, big holidays coming up, and, and there's a lot going mm -hmm. on here. It's like, you know, we've got all the holidays, and then you got Halloween and all that this stuff. This is it, and this it gets, is the train to the end of the year, Mike. <laughs> SAT tests and all that stuff, so how do you relax? How about a hobby? To relax. Do you have a, a nice relaxation sort of hobby? Does the the bath time alone count as a hobby? It's in my house, look, I consider it a hobby when you have a full house. Okay, okay. that's like my quiet time. All okay. right, but I have noticed that when Sloane wants to color with her markers that only color on the special kind of paper, you know what I mean? Um, I've she'll start and kind of you know walk away. I finish, and it's relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Those, yeah, the, the coloring books, and when you get there with the crayon and all that stuff. So I think mine has to be just going out in the garage and firing up the, the saws. Oh, whittling away. And doing woodworking and <laughs> stuff like that. So yes. All right. Ah, so let us know what is your stress relieving hobby at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter. You know what? Another good hobby is eating. Well, Sweets that's what we do, and Mike. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of those hobbies, our first guest took her favorite hobby and turned it into a business. She gets to play with strawberries every day and turn them into a delicious art. And speaking of art, I mean, these things are just beautiful. Look at some of those pictures. Anna Revela, owner of Strawberry Street, is here to show us how to recreate some of her amazing designs and what you are working on. And talking about amazing designs, these are absolutely gorgeous. Of course, yes. Um, Yes, uh, those are the marble ones, so it's a, uh, SAE Live. Um, so do you want to get started on yeah. working on yeah. them? Yes, so is that what we're going to make first? The, yes, the we're going to make those okay. first. Yes. All right, so okay. we've got a couple of kind of strawberries that are already covered in white chocolate, yes. right? So You're going to drizzle them with white, and then we're going to add the SAE Live letters on that you have on the uh, right. So now do we use this as kind of the glue? Um, yes, you can also use that as the glue. Okay, Correct. so I do this. So. So how long have you been doing chocolate dipped strawberries? I've been doing it since 2019. Um, uh, it's now two years in October, and October 7th. So yeah. Yeah, it's been quite a while doing them. So how did you learn? I learned by myself at home. <laughs> it's like uh, I will practice every day until I get what I wanted. And it's what, like they say, practice makes perfect. Right. <laughs> so it is kind of a hobby for you then, It right? is a hobby, okay. yes. I, I, um, since I was little, I loved um, do uh, cooking, baking, and all of that. Okay, and then and decorating. And then, I mean, with a chocolate-covered strawberry, that's just kind of its own food group, isn't it? It's just so good. It, yes. it just makes you happy, right? Yes. Yes. I it's mean, so box fun. of chocolates or chocolate-covered strawberries, y'all. Yes. Who votes? I'd say chocolate-covered chocolate -covered strawberries. Yeah. I would go with that. Because you know what? Because unlike the box of chocolates, you don't have to poke the bottom of them and see what's inside. You know what's inside. <laughs> you know it's what's a strawberry inside. in the middle there. So. so if someone, does it, how do you make a really good chocolate covered strawberry? I mean, does it start with the it quality needs to, of the chocolate? The consistency, you like, it needs to be perfect, the okay. cons consistency. Um, it all depends how you melt your chocolate. If it's really hard, it's going to be really hard to work with. Mm -hmm. But um, you need to kind of make it 
really soft and smooth. Okay. What would be the best kind of chocolate? If I was at the at the yeah. grocery store, can I just like melt down candy bars, or should I yes. get a better chocolate? Oh, you can, oh, like you can work with any chocolate. You can decorate or like whatever um, chocolate you find on the market. Um, as long as you try to make it smooth with, um, sometimes I use coconut oil and some uh -huh. um, other type of oils. Okay. okay, all right. I did my essay live here, so it's not it's not perfect, but. <laughs> I know, mine's I not know. perfect either, that, but I know, nice it doesn't matter. It's gonna end up in my stomach. Okay. You wanna see the cutest <laughs> thing in the world though. Look at the little, eh. Okay, beauty lies in the eyes of the old That was good. Look at this box over here, and those are chocolate covered strawberries, but is this not? The cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. Those, what are those called? It's very, very Our cute. Very, very. Yes, I love you very much. <laughs> Little teddy bears. Yeah, so you can give your loved one, um, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Oh, and, and, and the ears are little tiny marshmallows? Yes, for the ears, they're like t uh, little tiny uh, marshmallows. Okay. And if folks want to yeah. order from you, how do they do that? So y'all can find me on Strawberry Street SA, um, Instagram or Facebook. So, so y'all can DM me, send me a message. So if we wanted to do a marble effect, uh -huh. what do we do? So you start off with uh, uh, mm -hmm. drizzling the measuring cup. Mm -hmm. um, drizzle so, some yeah, in? Yeah, okay. Tell and me when. And um, there you go, that's okay. perfect. And then you can also add blue, oh, or you can add, let's just do, we can do okay. the red one. Okay, okay. And cool. then the toothpick, we um, go, uh, we do swirls with the toothpick as so well. So just swirl it, like yeah. that? Okay, and then I do this? Perfect, and go Oh, up. look was, at that! Oh, wow. I thought it was look eating. at that! Oh look, mine kind of came out cool yes. too. Yes. All right. Now we've got more from you coming up, right? Yes. What are we going to be making? We're going to be bit? making cakesicle, uh, fall cakesicles. All right. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. So more from Strawberry Street in a little bit. But for more information on them, just head to our website salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, from a. To say it's really good. Okay. Don't know if your mouth is full. <laughs> <laughs> From Potter's Wheel to firing and glazing ceramics, Roadrunner Ceramic and Pottery Supply is helping clay artists and beginners learn the art of pottery. It's one more fun hands-on activity you can try with your family, and our Jen Tobias Trusky is out there live. Hey there, Jen. Hey, Jen. Hi there. Yes, you know I'm always looking for something fun to do with the entire family, but this can be for anybody who maybe even wants to start a new hobby, because something as beautiful as this, maybe you want to create for yourself and put it in your home. Well, you can do that yourself, and we're here at Roadrunner Ceramics, and I have Ron Wilson, the owner, joining me now. Hi. Thanks for having us. Yeah. This is so neat. Super cool, super cool. So we, this is a hub for pottery, really, right? Absolutely. We we sell everything you need to do it, and uh, we do workshops and classes and uh, all kinds of stuff. So if you're interested in getting into this, it's it's the place to be. And kids can do this as well. But we are going to transition over here and look at one of the experts, Jenny. How long has Jenny been? Doing Jenny this? has been doing it for 20 years, believe it or not, and she's only 23. Look at you, you look great. So she's she's gonna demo <laughs> she's gonna demo centering and opening and then we're gonna give you a chance to, to pull. Okay, I'm gonna hand you this. Cool. Uh, let's see Jenny while I put my mask on because we're gonna get a little close here. This is like the stuff of centering. Where I kinda like pull it and I press it in place. So Jenny is centering there and uh now she's gonna open up the clay and uh, make make the start of the and then we'll swap out. So she's gonna do the first pull and And this is not easy, right? I mean for those who may think this is oh it's just a wheel turning. <laughs> it it looks super super easy, but when you sit down and try it, it's like, ooh, there's more to it than than I thought. So I'm going to Our guy from the last workshop says, you center the clay and the clay centers you. Wow. He's very philosophical. <laughs> But it really, once you get used to it and uh, and start working on it, you're you're. It's very relaxing. It's very neat and fun, and you get this super charge for having taken just raw clay and turned it into something beautiful with your bare hands. As we were saying, the uh, ceramics is the second oldest art and craft in the world after textile. Which so, makes sense, like you said, you had to make your clothes, but then you needed something to eat with, right? That's so right. To... All right. All right. And then we're going to see some fire over here, so we'll try to speed this up a little. I know I'm not going to do as well as you. Jen, you're <laughs> up. <laughs> we'll try. 
You want to be covered up? Sure. It's okay if I get dirty. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then. So you want to have your hands, uh, one hand inside here like this, and this hand. And you want to kind of keep those hands. Covered. Left hand inside, right hand outside, mm -hmm. and you dip your hands in the water. Oh. Oh. Okay. And. Yep. Short leg problem here. <laughs> okay. And then. Control and kind of draw your hands up. Oh my gosh, it's ruined. It's ruined. Okay. And this is why the experts do their thing. Okay, foot off the pedal. Okay, we are going to transition to fire, but you guys have tons of classes here, right? Yes. There, 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 was, a, there was a fantastic potter in Biloxi, Mississippi uh, called George Orr that made pots just like that. And uh, so now we're switching over and we're going to pull some pots from a raku kiln. This okay. is a Japanese uh, style of pottery that was invented for the tea ceremony. So we're going to pop open the kiln at temperature. There we go, guys. And uh, this is how it works. I think this is so cool. With the fire. All right. There we go. So Chris is pulling this out and then he's going to walk he's, us through here. Right? He's, he's pulling it out and oh. the glaze is melted there and he's setting it down on uh Whoa. on uh combustibles so and then we're gonna we're gonna let the fire go and uh then cover it up and the the burning material uh causes a uh, chemical reduction in the glaze and makes the bright colors develop how beautiful and then with the magic of television we have the reveal right here yes okay i'll take this off okay and, and Oops. Ooh. There all right well there's how there's here. how it looks when you are done okay back to fiona and mike i know we're out of time we're having so much fun out here so yes please look them up as seen on sa live tab on sa live.com ron we'll have some more fun back to you guys fantastic thanks <laughs> beautiful i love yes. that line taking something mm -hmm. raw and making something beautiful out yes. of it like that love it love all it thank right. you so much Jen. still ahead on sa live long lost family heirlooms return to loved ones how a design expert is using her thrifty shopping skills to bring families together plus you get something for free and local dogs local rescue dogs get help keep watching so you can snag our deal of the day but first it's a new skincare line started by a san antonio woman why her products are different and what she can teach you about protecting your skin it's next on sa live Welcome back to SA Live. Well, she started creating her own skincare products at home for family and friends, and everyone loved them so much that they offered to start paying for them, <laughs> which is great. Wow, family pay. That's right. pretty nice. Jocelyn Delu is owner of Kalan by Jocelyn, is showing us how her products are so simple and natural. They Really, I, I was thinking we had like a muffin recipe. <laughs> you can actually eat them too. Well, okay. and may we just say, your skin looks incredible. Thank I mean, you. it really, really does. And I'm guessing oh, this is why. Thank Mike. you. Exactly. Okay. So yes, what are we yes. making today? Because we're making kind of some kind of fall themed ones, right? Yes, we're getting in, going into fall. So I wanted to create something with um, pumpkins. So right here we have a lip scrub that is made with um, agave. You can go ahead and pour it in. There okay. you go. Mm -hmm. You're natural. You have it. Uh, that's all I've done so far. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Try to hype you up. Okay, so yes. you have some sugar and then you have some pumpkin spice. Um, the sugar is really good for, as a natural exfoliator. The pumpkin spice will just give it a nice little scent. And then the coconut oil is a moisturizer and the agave is good for inflammation. Anyway. So you just want to... Can I just use my hands? Or oh no, I yeah, use the spoon. So agave is good for inflammation. And you said sugar is also a hydrator? I mean, it, it yeah. puts moisture in? Yeah, so it's a natural exfoliator that um, brings in the moisture from the environment into your skin. So it's natural, no chemicals. So it's really good for for exfoliating. Yes. It smells amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes. You can eat it, but okay. I don't suggest you eat it. Brilliant. <laughs> You know, unlike like soap to get in your mouth, it's like, okay, not bad. So uh -huh. now um, this is for your lips, but can you use it on your whole face? Um, you can technically use it on your whole face. Um, it's a little sticky, so I wouldn't. Okay. Um, it'll get a little messy. <laughs> and you were saying that that's maybe a common mistake people make is using exfoliant products that are for one part of the yes. body. Like for, like, for example, a body scrub yeah. on your face. You don't want to do that. No, because some body scrubs will have salt 
um, and the salt is a little bit too harsh for your um, skin on your face. So you want to make sure that you're not putting body scrub um, on your face and vice versa. And even though that is a moisturizer in there, you don't want to exfoliate every day because that can have the opposite effect. Correct, correct. It'll actually dry your skin out if you exfoliate every day and it'll irritate it. So okay. one to two times a week is best. Now I had the easy job, right? Yeah, He's got yeah. the more. <laughs> yeah, so what are we doing the here? dangerous job over there. Ooh, so you have dangerous. <laughs> you're making a cinnamon lip balm, mm -hmm. um, and in there is uh, candela wax, which is an alternative for beeswax. I try to make all my products vegan and natural, so um, I had to substitute the beeswax. But it's candela wax, grape grape seed oil, and um, chai latte tea bags to give the oil a scent. And the candela wax will also solidify. Oh, you're good. Oh, I'm surprised <laughs> I, I got that wow, one like that. Wow. And so this is what it looks like yes. when then it is finished, and that's just a nice little lip balm, right? Yep, after two hours, it'll solidify into a lip balm, um, and then you can just take it and put it in your purse and carry it as like a little travel lip balm. There you go. And you, and have, you can eat it. <laughs> and you have kind of an nice example tasty. of some of the other uh, aromas? Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, so I have some other body scrubs. There's three different scents. I have a coffee uh, vanilla, this is a peppermint, and this is a rose essential oil. Um, everyone has different um, benefits, but overall it exfoliates and moisturizes your skin. Um, I also have my best seller right here in the middle is a shea butter moisturizer. It's half shea butter and half apricot oil, um, aloe vera tea tree oil, and vitamin E. Really good for fighting wrinkles and um, acne and a whole bunch of skincare um, issues that we all have. Okay, yeah. and how can people, folks, mm -hmm. get, get your Yeah, stuff? you guys can uh, find me on www.etsy.com slash shop slash Kalan by Jocelyn. You can also follow me on Instagram, Kalan by underscore Jocelyn. All right, this. thank you so much. Thank and you for, for more trying it. On Kalan by Jocelyn, just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. All right, still ahead on SA Live, a local family is keeping up a Texas tradition, how they help you get one-of-a-kind Western look. And next, they say you can lose pounds off your weight and inches off your waist without hitting the gym, how it works and how you can try it for half the price. It's straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, the fall weather will be here soon, right? Just think good thoughts. And with the transformation of the season, we're looking to see self-transformations as well. And Maria Ramos, patient at Slimetica, is here to tell us how they can help with your total transformation. Thank you so much for being Hi, here. thanks for having me. All right, so at Slimetica, they have made weight loss a formula. What's yes. the secret? So Slimetica combines medicine and technology to create an awesome weight loss program. Okay, so the you know weight loss you know, for a lot of folks is challenging, right? And it doesn't happen overnight. But there is a four-week program that Slimetica has that folks can stick to. Yes, yeah, Slimetica makes it very easy. Our, our the patients are losing about half a pound to a pound a day. For me personally, I needed a four-week program. I needed to get motivated. I was trying to lose weight on my own, and I didn't lose any weight. And with COVID and everything, you know, I had gained about 20 pounds. So I just needed to, you know, jumpstart my weight loss and Slimetica made it very easy for me. And I think for a lot of folks, you know, when the pandemic hit yes. that whole year plus, you know, a lot of folks gained weight just because they were home more, they right. were all cooking more and, you know, therefore eating more and then moving a little less, right? Because it right. couldn't really go anywhere. So how many inches on average do patients lose in so, that four week time? Yeah, the great thing about Slimetica is they guarantee a four inch loss. And if you don't get those results, they'll definitely keep treating you again. But most clients lose about 15 to 30 pounds, depending on what your weight loss goals are. So that's what I loved about Somedica is that the treatment was tailored towards me. You know, I met with a counselor and a doctor, so they truly are professionals. They've been doing this for over six years. Um, and again, for me, that's what worked. It, it worked for me. I went to Slimetica about three times a week. I laid under that laser. It's called the Zerona laser. It creates microscopic tears in the fat cells. So the fat cell, that fat is, you know, it leaves your body. Um, and also I get, I get weekly weigh-ins and they give me a nutritional plan and the medicine really helped me stay on track. So that's an incredible support system, yes, right? And they really absolutely. help hold you accountable. Yes. 
Yes, yeah, so those weekly check-ins, the way in going in three times a week, you know, laying under that laser, maybe it looks a little bit scary, but it's completely comfortable, it's pain-free, and you know, I was normally napping during those treatments. So, and also, also I was seeing results very quickly, so it's very easy for me to stick to that program. And tell us a little bit more about that Zorona laser. Yeah, so the Zorona laser, it takes about 20 minutes, you do your stomach, you can, well, you can target your stomach, you can target, target your um, thighs. So for me, I target my stomach for 20 minutes, and then we turn around and we do the other 20 minutes. So again, very comfortable treatment. It's creating those microscopic tears. And so you're seeing that weight loss just disappear very quickly. All right, and you have a special deal for the first 10 people who yes. call today, right? Yes, what for is the that? first 10 callers, you're going to get half off the four week transformation package. Now that includes your consultation, um, also seeing your medical provider, the nutritional plan, all of the laser treatments. And that's going to be for 1500, the regular price is 3000. So it's an awesome special. All right, let's get that information up on the screen for you. The first 10 callers will get half off Sumedica's four week transformation package. It's usually priced at $3,000, but you are gonna get it for just 1500 The number to call is 210-361-1480. For more information, all you have to do is head to slimedica.com. Maria, thank you so much for thank sharing you. your story. Still ahead. We found you a great freebie in our deal today, and it comes with an easy way for you to give back to local rescue dogs. It may look like an ice cream bar, but uh-uh. Mm. Mm. It's a cake sickle. Oh my goodness. Strawberry Street is back, oops, and it falls apart too, with more goodies to eat. Mm. Oh, beautiful day down here at Market Square. Well, they specialize in strawberry treats, but there's a lot more to this local dessert <laughs> shop. Yes, earlier you met Anna Arevalo, mm. owner of Strawberry Street, and you are back with some of their other specialty desserts. And it's these really are... Okay, you're eating your display again? Okay, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, enjoy it. These are your cakesicles, right? Yes, okay. that's correct. Yes, um, these are the theme for, uh, the, uh, the, the fall theme uh, cakesicles. So I drizzle with some leaves and a pumpkin and then it's cute because you, uh, you can customize it for also your loved one. Um, any type of theme. So for in case that one's falling in, uh, falling for you. Aww. Aww. I know, there's the collective aww. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. So how do you do it? Just yeah. take cake and, and make it in that shape and then uh -huh. just keep dipping and chocolate? Yes, cause... yes. It's cake and then um, chocolate and top. That's correct. Okay. And I'll tell you what, take it from me. She doesn't scrimp on the chocolate, man. That's a, that's a, that's a <laughs> that bunch of chocolate solid. on this baby. So, yeah. And then the cake on the inside, which is really good too. So I and better all of them are customizable? Yes. Okay. Yes, you can customize it. It, um, however you want and you can also give this to your loved one and um, trying to propose or something okay. like that. <laughs> okay now what have you got in front of you right there? Um, Chudo cheesecake. Oh, yes. So that's oh. just it's oh my gosh yes. is that what we have the sample that's up what here? We have here? It's like cheesecake but in a churro. How'd you come up with yeah. this idea? Um, I actually saw this one online um, it came a trend and I was like, let me try this. And I actually loved it. It's like cinnamon toast crunch, but yeah. better. Yeah, and not mm. overly sweet, but the, <laughs> cream, the creaminess to it yeah. is Yeah, And you wonderful. can add some fruit and it tastes so good. Also. Oh yeah, with some fruit mm -hmm. just like that. Yeah. Put okay. strawberries on top of that, obviously. Okay. Yeah. So what can we use to decorate these? Um, you can use uh, sprinkles, letters, or you can also, um, Color in them with uh, chocolate melt. But um, yes, here's and, some oops, chocolate melt. Whoopsie. And let me grab yeah. those scissors from you here, real mm -hmm. quickly. Mm -hmm. And I'll come back over here. Okay. And I'm just using, and so basically, I mean, you can do whatever you so want. I just, on yes, this. Right? Of here. Whoops. Okay. There you go. You can drizzle it and then add the sprinkles or the sunflowers. Mm -hmm. So what are you working on for this coming fall and upcoming holidays? Um, so I already uh, uh, put uh, Halloween, um, I did Hocus Pocus theme, I did um, Mickey Mouse theme, uh, theme, uh, theme, and many others. Okay, hey, and tell folks how they can find you. This is fun. So you guys can find me at Strawberry Street SA on Instagram and Facebook. Okay. And and you also make the ah, oh, this chocolate cake. We also just make yeah. okay. uh, And then we've got the and the cakes that you make too, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Yes, that oh, one has yeah. uh, cheese cream in the middle and strawberries. Yes. Cream and cheese in the middle and strawberry. Yes, that's correct. Look at how beautiful these are, and, and great little uh, 
great little treat. So. And if anybody missed it earlier, we did your chocolate covered strawberries, which, which were marbled, okay, and where do you where do you get your strawberries? I get them at, it depends on the store as long as they're organic or if I can't find organic, I, I try to find the biggest okay. strawberries and the market. So if you're doing them at home, just find the biggest strawberries. Yes, indeed. For more information on Sorry Street, go to our website, SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you, Anna. Thank, Thank you. you. Next on the show, we continue to highlight small Alamo City businesses. Meet a family keeping a Texas tradition alive on the south side. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, they work with everyone from Charles to the rodeo, and Freddie's Hats has been creating custom headwear, western wear, for the past 25 years. We visited this local mom and pop shop on the city's south side to see how they've been keeping a Texas tradition alive and well. So this is a family-run business here on the south side of San Antonio. Freddie, tell me what it means to be a part of this community? Well, it's, uh, you know, it's a big blessing because uh, we grew up here and uh, to be actually, to be able to stay here, you know, that's probably the biggest, the biggest um, goal that everybody that starts a business wants to stay where they're, where they came out of, you know, not and, a lot of people get to do that. And how long has Freddy's Hats been here? We've been here, we're working on our, on our third year this year. We started our first year very strong, thank God. Uh, the second year, it was kind of loose, but now this year, it's, I mean, it's real promising. Hopefully everything goes back on track and we'll be rolling again. Now, you are a master shaper. You have been shaping hats for 20 years now, right? That's right, we've been shaping for about 20, 20 years. We started this as a, as a part-time hobby. Always had a regular job and did this at the, as a, as a part-time. So worked for my dad for many years when he sold his company. I went to go work for the oil field and when I was in the oil field, I was lucky enough to be able to get enough to, know to start my own business. And when the oil field crashed, I started here. So what does it mean for you to finally see this come to fruition? Jesus, you know, sometimes I look at it and I still can't believe it, you know? I mean, it's not a lot of people have the opportunity to do this. There's a lot of people with a lot of talent, you know, but it's just one thing or another that doesn't click. And if we're, you're one of the lucky ones that it clicks for you, I mean, take advantage of the opportunity to write it. Now tell folks what you offer here, because it's more than just hats at Freddy's Hats, right? Exactly, we offer, I mean, a full, full menu of boots. I mean, we have if any kind of skin you want, we have it here. We offer hats, I mean, we sell American, we sell Rodeo King, and we sell our in-house brand. Other than that, I mean, we have caps, we have pretty much anything you're looking for, you know, but our specialty is boots, hats. Boots and hats, and then you can find belts too, right? You can find belts, yeah, all the boots come with the belts, exactly. <laughs> so, you say that being a master shaper and, and finding, you know, finding a good master shaper is like finding a good barber. A lot of people, a lot of people uh, um, say it's like finding a barber, like me, myself, I'll, I'll have a barber and I'll go with him for as, many, as long as I can, and then when I lose him, I'll, it's hard to find another one. You know what I mean? The same thing with the hat shapers. Once you find one that knows what you want, pretty much he doesn't even ask you to get there, and he, he helps you out, and you're good to go. So when someone comes in and say they, they don't really know what they're looking for, how do they find that perfect fit for them? Uh, a lot of people say, hey, you know what? I've heard a lot of people say, does the hat supposed to fit my face? Is the hat supposed to uh, be wide if I'm a wider person? We're in the 20th century, right now, we can wear whatever we want. You know, if you want to wear a taco hat and you're my size, you can go ahead. You can wear whatever you want. We'll fit you up and it's your choice. We do not shape the hat to what we think looks good on you. We shape the hat to what you want. Well, Freddy Nino, Master Shaper, is here with us now and you are shaping a hat to fit Mike's <laughs> noggin over there and you already have done the top part and are kind of finishing it right now, right? Yes, ma'am. We're working on the on the brim. This is called the brim. We're kind of trying to get it to the shape he kind of told us he wanted. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Now, how is it harder to do straw than is felt? It's um, it's a bit it's a bit more difficult to do a, a straw than it is felt. Felt's a lot more forgiving mm -hmm. than the actual straws. Once you pretty much shape a straw, you're kind of stuck there. Okay. Yeah, unless 
And you said you got into this because you were working a job mm. as a teenager, and one day the guy doing hats didn't show up, and they're like, here, you're shaping hats now, right? He goes, yeah, uh, you want to shape hats? I go, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I go, well, he no. goes, uh, just start shaping, and four years, four years in messing up hats, and I kind of got the hang of it. <laughs> now you say finding a good hat shaper is like finding a good barber, right? You know what? I uh, just yesterday, funny story. I was at a barber shop and I saw all these people come in, and there's about eight barbers, and each one has their own barber already, and it's pretty much with the hat shapers, the same same thing. You know, you find a good hat shaper, you don't want to go go try out another one. Huh. Now you're of course out there on the south side, right? Yes, we're on the south side. We're still there, and um, we've been there for. Two years now. Mm -hmm. We're going on three years, hopefully. All right. Tell folks how to find you. All right, guys. We're on uh, social media. We're at an um, Instagram, Freddy's Hats, Freddy's underscore hats. Uh, we're on uh, Facebook, Freddy's Hats. You can find us uh, Tuesday through Sunday at 3950 South Santa Mora. All, all right. right. And for more on that, if you'd like all that information, go to SALive.com. Click on the Ask on SA Live tab. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, guys. Coming up, long lost family heirlooms found in humble thrift shops. How are designers making these discoveries and bringing families together? Plus, today's deal of the day is next on SA Live. Welcome back. Well, our deal of the day comes from Hops and Hounds, an indoor outdoor dog friendly restaurant. For the month of September, when you make a donation to the Alamo City Pitbull Rescue, you get your choice of one free chips and salsa or chips and queso or a nine ounce margarita or a soft drink or a mocktail. Now, the items they need the most are unopened bags of dog food, large dog toys, training tools, and unopened fleece blankets. You've got all month to help out and get your freebie. Hops and Hounds is located at 13838 Jones Maltzberger Road. Well, known for her designer skills, specific, specifically in smaller rental spaces, Chelsea Brown is using her thrift shopping skills to find family heirlooms, and she's returning them to families from all over. And today she's sharing her newest passion, plus some tips on how you can design your happy space from a thrift store. Jen Tobias Strusky has more. Chelsea Brown is author of Rental Style. Living in New York City, she is known for making the most out of small spaces, and you can find her thrift shopping at least three to four times a week for her clients. And I would not be joking if I told you that if you ever need to find me, I will be at the flea market every single Saturday and Sunday from nine to one. I mean, that is how often I thrift. Before we get to her shopping tips, Chelsea is sharing how she is connecting families with their long lost heirlooms. Basically what I do is I find family heirlooms at flea markets and thrift stores and I use what I know about genealogy and I find family members and descendants to give those items back to. So that's basically what I do. Um, how I started doing this, well, my dad is a genealogist. So for years, I, I've seen him work with families around the world um, for free, helping them find not only their heritage, but filling in the holes of their family history. And that's really special to me. And because I thrift so often, um, when I'm at thrifts or flea markets, I'm always passing family heirlooms, like photographs and documents, postcards, letters. And it it really does break my heart and always has because those items should be with family and not just sitting in some box at a flea market. So far, she's returned over 200 items to people all over the country. So do you have any stories that you can share about um, who you found and the heirlooms that you've returned to family so far? I have so many stories. Um, one of my favorite stories is from a few weeks ago. I found this love letter from 1942. It was a love letter written by a Marine to his sweetheart. In the letter, he basically tells her that he wants her to wait for him and he wants her, you know, not to get married to anyone else and to, I know, to wait for him until the war is over. So when I went to research the uh, recipient of the letter, unfortunately, I did find out that she married someone else. But I did find her great distant descendant and she was very receptive of the letter. And she actually told me that the woman in the letter, her son is actually estranged from the family. So she wanted me to send her this letter to see if that letter could reconnect the family again. So I sent her the letter 
about a week ago and I'm still waiting to hear an update, but that just proves that these items that I find are more than just items, right? They can reconnect families again and I think that's so special. One find took Chelsea a bit longer because the photo album only had first names, but she got a pleasant surprise. When I uh, found a public family tree on Ancestry.com, I reached out to the owner Turns out that that was her family, and also turns out that we're six cousins, which is a family I know. Isn't that bizarre? Brown is still planning to continue her decorating blog, and she's currently writing her second book. The reason why I had this passion for decorating was because I love thrifting, and I love going to the flea market, and I think that led me to where I am today. And for those looking to decorate a small space on a budget, Chelsea encourages you to consider thrift store shopping. What I have to say, thrifting is a great way to shop sustainable. Um, not only that, but it's also a great way to add a unique atmosphere to your home. One of the best tips that I can give for anyone who is just starting out thrifting is to not go into it looking for something specific. Because when you do that, you might unintentionally miss an item that could look great in your home, right? And you'll be surprised what you find. Which also brings me to my next tip, uh, make sure you measure your space before you go thrifting because it would be such a shame if you bought something like a piece of furniture and you brought it home and it didn't fit. So if you have stumbled across something at a thrift or flea market and you find a family heirloom that you need help tracing back, feel free to message me on Instagram, City Chic Decor. I am more than happy to help you trace that family or descendants. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Jeske. Wouldn't it be Too cool, cool getting something from your family way back then? Right? Yeah. And Chelsea's got all kinds of decorating hacks on her social media accounts. And if you want to link to all those, just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, tomorrow on SA Live, we learn the art of donut. This local donut shop is sending kits home with you to make your own donut designs. Plus, what could pair better with donuts than coffee? This coffee trailer is serving up three fall-inspired drinks with a San Antonio twist. That and more tomorrow at 1 right here on SA Live. All right. Earlier, we want to know what your hobby was oh. that is stress relieving. And Louise says crochet. Nice. Doing my plastic canvas crafts, Vicki. I like that. And then Lily says, I love to make bandanas and custom outfits for dogs. Watching SA oh, Live. Albert. How relaxing yes. is this hour? <laughs> hey, speaking of fall is always a time to relax. And next week. Oh, it is our fall kickoff the entire week. So get ready to fall with heat, us. Heat up the pumpkin spice whatever. <laughs> It's <laughs> everywhere. I actually got some pumpkin spice Oreo cookies the other day. They weren't bad. Oh, okay. Is there more to that story? No. Oh, good, it. because we're out of time. <laughs>